Um, a, the citizen volunteers, uh, if you know uh, Pastor Dr. Bethel from Albina Ministerial Alliance, was a citizen volunteer. A former chair of the CRC was asked to attend. Initially, she could not attend. And by accident, I attended, and she asked me to attend on her behalf. Uh, and so I became a, another citizen representative. There was another person from the uh, civil council for the county that was also a citizen rep. And really, this was a staff, let's call it a staff group, that was looking at coming up with suggestions just like this to help implement, of course, their goal, and I'll put this in quotes as bureaucrats, was to try and comply with the federal judgment, but looking at it from their perspective. And that report is being finalized right now, and um, that report, if it can be more specific, uh, and I just saw a rough draft a couple of days ago, called the city attorney's office to express my concern regarding its generality. This is far more specific. But taking the two different approaches, or that's what I'm trying to say, is this timing is just excellent. So you look at merging the good ideas from each, obviously, and coming up with uh, approaches that you think are um, both reasonable, because looking at it from an administration perspective, it was interesting to see their concern with timelines and compliance with timelines taking a higher priority than I respectfully suggest other folks might take. And so having a good balance is going to help. So my compliments to everybody that worked in this, you included, sir. Um, and to the extent that I can try and help guide that report into being more specific, I will do so if I cannot. Um, and to the extent that once they're done, um, I'm going to be fully authorized to, or at least nothing restraining me, from covering the specifics that I remember being discussed. If that includes going back to the minutes, I will, I will do so. So if there is going to be meaningful accountability reform, and I can tell you to the extent that, that as one person citizen, I've been involved with all different aspects, it is broken. Okay. The report says it's Byzantine. That's being polite. Okay. Um, it is unfair to everybody involved. I don't care whether you're a police officer, whether you're a citizen. Um, it is it very frustrating as a CRC member to hear a citizen say, gee, the allegations in the complaint don't reflect what my concerns were. And not knowing that until they get to an appeal. Everybody under understand that? So in any event, I want, I'll cut it short there, but I just want to let you know the work that this subcommittee did couldn't be more timely. So for a third time, I think all of you. What was your name again, sir? Do you mind? Or what, would you prefer to be called? Jim. Jim Young. Are you Paul Jim Young? Guy. Are you the guy oh. who got the water splashed in your face? I well, am uh, indeed. You get rained on. It, it did grow my hair. Do you know, I, you're a former DA from Michigan. And Mr. Charles Johnson had felt that you were an aggressive racist prosecutor. And that was the, or besides putting the neo-Nazi in the meeting, that was my understanding, is that because Charles Johnson is Jewish, he felt that the neo-Nazi had been strategically legitimized. Excuse me, but this man didn't have anything but he was to Mr. do Jim with Young. the neo-Nazi. Other than he was the there legitimizing Mary. being a good German. Mary? Yes. Mary. That, that, was, that was my Mary. Wait, wait, just a second. Just a second. Uh, we, no, it's no offense Mary, to you, sir. Mary, we try to wait to be called upon just so we can have some order. I thought I recognized him. Robert? Uh, my understanding, you used to be a prosecutor and that you have, mm. and that e everyone that, um, every time a police officer, there was a complaint filed against a police officer, uh, you, you managed to not indict them. And you got mm. awards from the state police of that state on, on uh, you, you being such a DA, is that true? No. I received the first Michigan State Police Award to a prosecutor for being a very effective in a murder case in which a fellow bashed the head in of a 15-year-old girl by having worked with them. Oh. To the yeah. extent that you guys know Dan Handelman, I suggest you talk to Mr. Handelman. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Handelman will know of instances in which, even before joining the CRC, I was very critical 
very critical, critical. Mm -hmm. okay. of the Bureau's handling of certain complaints in which, for, I can give you a specific example, in which an officer going through a domestic relations squabble specifically was trying to incite um, an argument oh. with his ex's uh, friend. In any event, Mr. Handelman, I'm sure he probably still has that on, on tape. So while some of the facts you're saying is correct, what you also didn't say is I used to teach search and seizure and things like that to police. Also did defense work. I've also gone to judges and told them that I believe the police officers were, well, at least one detective was lying um, and refused what, to use right the So what, in any event. What I'm, what I'm gonna ask is that we try and refrain from discussion about- Refrain from it, accountability, Mary, basically, at Mary, the accountability meeting, Mary, I get it. I would like us to try and refrain from discussion. What's up with the near Nazi on the cops? About What's up with that? Why won't you protest, Mr. Schneerson? Don't you have any integrity? Focus more on the policy You're not following. Uh, changes we're trying to implement. Okay, so I want to talk about that. So, so, uh, so you're next. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think that this is uh, timely as well, okay? Um, but I also have questions for you.